Yeah! <laughs> what up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. Uh, this morning's yo is a little harder than normal, not gonna lie. This whole morning has been, honestly, a little harder than normal. As y'all know, Frederick, uh, the, that Frederick video actually goes up today. So um, y'all are watching that on a Sunday, but this video is probably gonna go up later in the week, I would, I would think, so the first hunt knowing that Frederick um, won't be joining me on on all of them anymore now a little update on Freddie um, after this first month of treatment and um, medicine his joints should uh, should lube up pretty good and the swelling should go down so I'm, I'm hoping uh, we can still have him in the blind he won't be able to go balls to the walls but I think he'll at least be able to sit with me, you know, and, and go on one or two retrieves and that'll be about it. It, uh, it really killed me um, knowing that his career is over at the age of two. So thank you all for uh, all the positive feedback. You all have been amazing. Um, it's, a, it's a big change, you know. We're, uh, we're guiding and, and my buddy can't be with me. But I do think, again, he'll be with us in the blind and doing, doing small work, you know. Hopefully, hopefully. But I do want to tell y'all, the Ducks Acrylic Duck Calls are back in stock. Uh, I'll be chattering on it a little bit today. Uh, today's hunt, uh, fresh clients in. These are returning clients of Gerald's, Andrews. We got Andy and his crew, his wife's with us. Uh, they're all from Mississippi and Kentucky. You'll meet them all once we get back at the lodge today. But I decided to uh, wait to open the video just because I had to get my head right, man. I've been foggy. The last couple days I've been foggy with this Fred news and it's really, really affected me. I didn't, the first day when the doctor told us, I didn't really think it affected me that much, but it's really been a thing and my soul has been hurting. <laughs> but today, here's the spread. I'll show you when it, I'll show, I'll show you again when, when the sun comes up. But we sat about 75, probably 80 dozen solos Silos only today. Dive bomb silos only. Plus, we got out the new ones. Check it out. Oh yeah, the dual forward facing. Oh yeah, it's a new dive bomb V2As, and uh, they look juicy. But we're doing a tree row hide today. A frames uh, starting to have to get out of the spread. Uh, it really is helping getting out of the spread. Putting the spread in front of you, laying in it is just difficult, especially on them low wind days. So. We're gonna get in the blind. We're gonna get going. Oh yeah, should be some ducks. And most importantly on today's hunt, I do not want to jinx it, but there is a chance, there is a chance that we have a shot, hopefully, hopefully at a very special bird. Um, we, uh, we put our binoculars on and we glassed this field, you know, the last week. And we've seen that bird in here three times. It's a special lesser. It's, it's actually a snow goose lesser cross and the whole front of it is just bright white so hopefully we see that bird hopefully we get a shot on it wish us luck on that on that <laughs> boy that's a pretty sight yeah. i don't want to waste the first go on a out of here true so uh behind this big tree row that you all see here uh there's a roost and uh not gonna lie how many birds do you think's on it? A couple thousand, I don't know. It's not, <laughs> I don't want them there. Yeah. Uh, they all weren't supposed to be there this morning. Put it that way, so. Um, we're probably gonna hold tight here. Um, keep <laughs> drooling over the ducks. Uh, speaking of which. Uh, but try to wait for a big volley of geese to do it before we blow them off this roost behind us, so. Or a big volley of ducks. Yeah. Anything, yeah. anything more than like five. A big volley of something. <laughs> Shoot him, guys. <laughs> Kennel. Kennel. Oh boy.
Feel the wind. <laughs> You're like, don't film me right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it's pretty. We're seeing a bunch of birds. Uh, like I told you, we took the first shots at some ducks, and the roost behind us erupted. And they are now going freaking out, deciding, trying to decide what they want to do. And uh, we're just gonna wait, let them calm down a bit. They're getting lower. They're getting more comfortable. You can tell. This is gonna be the fifth time they've came and looked at us here. Shoot him, guys. Oh. Oh, <laughs> All right. I'm gonna put on the GoPro nope. and we'll get the calling and spraying here. What? But here we got Andy. What's up, brother? What's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> that did not shoot. <laughs> that didn't hit anything. <laughs> oh, it's fun. It's fun. This is good. Uh, a lot of birds above us. Um, Awesome guys here. Where are y'all from? Mississippi and Kentucky, right? Yeah, Bowling Green, Kentucky. Tell them, I want them to know your name and I want them to know what you do for a living. It's um, really cool. So I'm Andy Holloway. I work for Independent Stave Company. I'm the assistant log procurement manager. So I uh, help manage the procurement of white oak logs to make wine and whiskey barrels. Yeah, and, and how many, you said you supplied 82% of the nation? 82% of Kentucky bourbon Okay. is made by independent state the barrels are that's so cool that's right so cool you're gonna have to get us one or two for I, the can, I can he's probably like, work not, something out he's like it's not that easy bob <laughs> <laughs> yeah he makes the uh the barrels that uh whiskey but or that is it's aged in i have i know nothing about it he's just been telling me about it but it's a really cool cool deal um hopefully like i said hopefully we get a few in the lodge one day <laughs> <laughs> all right andy what choke do you have there we got the indian creek choke look at that dude an indian creek, creek choke yeah i've got one for turkey and i've got one for waterfowl too it's i thought it choke. was a silencer at first i'm like what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> Boy, took out some bush there, <laughs> over on the right side. <laughs> well, uh, scum's out of the boat. Fine. I didn't shoot the best there. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Shot. Yeah, that was a longer shot, but they just they get to these trees and they just want to lift. Yep. You know, out front they're 20, 15 yards off the ground, yep. 10 yards off the ground, and then as they come to these trees, they're just like, ah, <laughs> ah tree row hunting. Kansas tree row hunting. Um, these birds, we quickly learned we needed to get out of the spread. Big structure, it's always hard, but we're going to make do here. <clears throat> Oh, I didn't film that one with the GoPro, but I got it on the shot cam, I'm pretty sure. Um, today I'm uh, shooting Black Cloud 3.5 inch BBs just because I knew it was going to be a side hide, just because I knew it was going to be a longer shot. So, uh, there we go. We got a lesser, we got a speck, maybe two specks down on that. Sit. Down three birds. Sit. Over. Wait, 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 wait,
Gosh, dang it. How do, you got to get way ahead of them. Yeah. There's one that's it. Them. That's that's all they're going to give us. Yep, another one down. He's coming back. Coming back. Yeah, he's definitely... Yeah, okay, well, I think another you know, three birds out of that. Um, I think just two. Two? Okay. Those came a lot better, but um, it's still a still a shot. He's got him missing a lot too. Yeah, don't you I'm, I'm not <laughs> shooting anything. So, oh boy, been some been some rather high high-ish shots. They're just they're not loving it. My one snack that I brought completely smashed. Yeah, that's when you just open you the hand. Your boot or something? Well, you would think that's a blind bag deal for about the last month. Weeks. Did you do that on purpose though? No, nope, oh, okay. sure didn't. I'm just hungry and but things mm. work pretty oh. good though. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Shoot him guys. Uh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody erupt. Yeah. <laughs> First green head down. There we go. Shoot him, guys. Go down. I was letting that hand have all three. I didn't care. <laughs> there we go. Another mallard down, though. Yeah. Hey. Hey, the ducks are doing it way better than the geese now. So hopefully that's a little sign of what might, what we might get more of. Let's just put it that way and keep our fingers crossed. Shoot those two guys. did it better yeah I don't think I necessarily killed anything but uh they reacted better no band no no special bird yet haven't seen him yet still on the lookout for him though no oh, 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 oh. but I just uh the old Fred video just uploaded and I just got to tell you all thank you for all the support you guys are dropping a ton of comments right now. It's Sunday morning and I uploaded it at 8 a.m. just because I figured it was a good good day to just upload early, you know, a good video to let you all sit back and just get an update on Fred, a solid update. So I miss him. I miss him out here already and this is only the first hunt after, after the fallout, you know. But if you're liking it, smash the thumbs up button. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, you probably need to because this is what we're gonna be doing all season long. Shoot the ones up top. Ah, wasted that. There we go, we got one. Got a speck in the trees, wow. That was a really bad shot. Really bad shot on my part. That was a big group, boys. I didn't know we had that many that low in the decoys. I was just watching these. 
Well, that was awesome. That was good. Finally. <laughs> yes. It took all morning and we got a, that was a spin. Uh, when they went all the way behind us, I didn't know if they were coming back and I didn't know that there was that many in the decoys on the right side. Did you know that there was all that in the decoys on the right side? Oh yeah. <laughs> I was like, I hope the right side is going to pull through because that was awesome. Things are happening. Things are happening at 9 30. <laughs> yeah, I know. You say it again. Later birds are gonna be nicer. Oh, they are. They're they're actually quite liking it, you know. Well, some good shooting there. Better. He's coming back. Or maybe my in, me and girls' prediction here is these birds are coming from another roost. Uh, they're not the birds that we bumped off this morning uh, because we are up against some water, you know. So, man, they're coming in front. Some small groups. Well, we're all picked up here. Didn't take long, and we just used silos only. Thirty-five total. Look at these guys here. Boy, a really nice one. This guy here is just completely black. But not a bad little shoot. Where'd you come from, dude? I tried to shoot some ducks this morning, it didn't work out, so I sat on the road and watched you for about <laughs> an hour. <laughs> you actually got to watch the good part of the hunt too. Yeah, yeah. Really so you dropped a bunch on that one of those volleys. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, it was uh it was a little tough going. Uh the birds we were dealing with are the ones that got bumped off the water behind us. But this field they've been in for the last every bit two weeks so it's time to get them out of this wheat and we had to oh get it get it look at the bulbs going on oh we got well i didn't put two and two together i heard it last night but i thought someone was joking it's their anniversary you guys do this every year every year every year. 20 year anniversary 20 years well happy anniversary i'm glad you're here Thank you very much. That's a good we had a great hoodie. time. It's probably, you probably kept her around because you got that hoodie. Yeah, that's, a, that's a good looking hoodie. <laughs> Mounting that one, huh? Look at that. Yeah, we didn't get to show people at home. Yeah, little white tips like Gerald said. Completely black. That's a beauty, man. Can't wait to get that one on the wall. Well, on the ride out. Just looked up and I seen that. Back when I got that trailer wrapped, I never would have thought the day would come that Fred wouldn't be able to hunt anymore. You know, it's something you think about when your dog turns 10 or 8 or 7 at least, you know. Not 2. <sighs> Back home. <clears throat> I um I uh was not planning on picking up the camera today. Um I uh I don't mean to end this video so so sad uh and what y'all are about to hear uh that there I hope that um, when, when you guys hear this information, you'll automatically understand why I didn't make a video over it. Um, so, so we we got the Fred news yesterday. Yeah, yesterday, two days ago. Sorry, it's been a it's been a long, hard two days here. Um, so, just for your your guys' reference, that video. Um, uh, Frederick at the doctor that went up today being Sunday and um, it's still Sunday and we're all back at the house 
and I've been getting a lot of questions about uh, my new puppy. I don't want to talk about it around my kids anymore. They already had to see enough. Um, but like I was saying, I got a new puppy. And I told you all that, man, I don't know how many videos ago. Probably... Uh, man, and my brain's so scrambled. Um, probably, I don't know, four or five videos ago, six maybe, I was telling you, hey, I got a new puppy. And I did. I did. So with the lodge and the guide service starting here at the house, um, I actually I can show you guys in another video or something. But I have children playing signs everywhere, and I have I basically with me and Beth, it was an automatic worry of mine that my kids could get hit in our driveway because our driveway. You come in off the road, you got a lot long, a long open space, and then um, there's kind of a catch point. There's a pinch point, and that pinch point, it's the road that goes around the lodge. Now, that being said, this isn't where this accident happened, but I did have a, a, little, a little baby girl, black lab. Her name's Patty. I named her uh, probably two, two weeks ago. Um, she's five months and she got hit today right after the hunt so this hunt that you're watching is still that day it's still the same day um, me and Drew were headed back to the lodge and Beth called me just hysterical literally while she was holding poor Patty so you can imagine the scene that my wife went through and then luckily uh, we have some great clients in and, and I feel so bad that they had to experience they had to experience all that during their stay because they're dog lovers as well they're great people and, and they love our dogs all of them were holding Patty last night Patty, Patty's been in the lodge the last handful of days just associating with all the clients and, and all of us and running around and, and um, this morning uh, right when we were done with the hunt, you know, some of us left the field earlier than others. I was running a little bit behind with Drew because we went and looked at a little duck hole on the way home. And about halfway home, there's that phone call. My poor wife, Beth, just going hysterical. So I really um, am sorry for the bad news. The, the, news, the bad news of, you know, Fred was already huge to me. And, um, and now I lost my new puppy. And poor Preston. I love you. I love you, Preston. One of my best friends. You always are going to be. But it was a complete accident. Complete accident. Poor Preston, man. Oh, poor Preston. He's so tore up. Um, so if you guys follow Preston on, um, on Instagram, please, please, please go over to his Instagram and just please send him a positive comment you can even do it down below but if you went to his instagram you would he would greatly it would help him a lot um it was not his fault do not go over there and be negative to that poor guy um he did not see her whatsoever he didn't even know i had patty no one knew i knew i, I had patty because i was keeping it a big reveal secret i wanted it to be a big surprise and so, um, actually, uh, Charlie bought that dog for me. Charlie at Sand Hill Retrievers, the guy that I've been, Charlie, Redhead Charlie, um, he bought me her as a gift um, right when, he actually bought her before I found out anything about Fred. And we had her before we found out about Fred. So I was gonna have two dogs and, and two healthy dogs. Now look. It just shows you um, how unfortunate sometimes life can be. Um, it's life. We live. We die. But in the moments that we're alive, it's very, 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 very important to to enjoy and enjoy and smile and enjoy and be nice and grateful. 
it's been rough y'all um, and, and another thing is um, oh, we've had bad wind so there is trash all in my trees um, long story short yes thank you thank you Charlie I, ha I actually had to call Charlie and um, tell him the bad news um, and you know I've wanted dog runs and stuff uh, we've never had dog runs I've never been a a dog trainer I've never needed a dog run I you know I was building this lodge the entire year I didn't have any extra room time money finance for any dog runs this year which I really want them but it was one of them freak accidents you know she was uh Patty was back in the lodge with Fred and, and Beth and the kids and Beth just let her out and it's not Beth's fault either but Beth let her and Fred out because they're at the door she's been really good about being at the door when she needs to go potty Beth had no idea anybody was on their way back um, and in some cases it was just perfect timing for a little disaster to happen which mind you I know that I'm talking a bunch here but I really want to uh, just get all the information out there because I've had a ton of people asking about the new puppy and so I just want to cover all my bases um, that's what I was gonna say it's it, this accident did not happen because we have the lodge now it did not happen because of carelessness the, the very unfortunate thing is is she was used to a dog run that's that's first and foremost so she had no experience with vehicles and avoiding them that being said uh, an accident almost happened with her yesterday now again no one knew there was going to be any traffic again it is a it's a learning it's a learning it's it's, it's a learning point for me but um she was she liked attacking tires and what do you do you know i guess if i if i would have known that that was going to be an issue i would have probably bought a dog run a lot sooner because oh yeah that's an issue she she uh, doesn't stay out of the way of cars you know but we haven't had her here like that long enough to understand that issue so it was kind of one of them things like in a way it was bound to happen because you know, I'm busy, we're all busy, we're juggling kids, my wife is, she's cleaning the lodge, she, she's the maid, you know, in a lot of ways, in every way, I mean, we have some help here and there, but she's been the maid, so she's got a lot on her plate, a bunch, we all do, and um, unfortunately, this is just one of those things that you gotta bite the bullet, you gotta move on. You know, having a dog, a hunting dog like Fred, that whole deal really messed me up. And today I felt like I was finally kind of getting over it, you know, and just letting it go and had a good hunt with the clients. It was a lot of fun, as you guys seen. But, um, what do you, you know, again, what do you do? Not much you can do. Accidents happen every day. Um, I, I want to, uh, Remind you guys, enjoy, enjoy your time. Enjoy your time with your friends. Enjoy your time with your dogs. Enjoy your time with your kids. Enjoy your time with other hunting partners, clients. Make new friends. Um, this life is, it can get crazy, you know? It can get, nature can, can take its course at any moment. We are not in control. We are, we are not always in control of accidents you know it's the way it's the way we are we're humans we're not robots we're not perfect so be safe out there guys please 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 keep your guns on safety until you're ready to shoot in the blind if you're using an a-frame please 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 um always have your gun on safety if you're going to be out of the blind put a shell sideways in your bolt so if it falls over by the wind blowing it or by a dog kicking it or by someone bumping it or it just sliding it doesn't kill anybody in the blind so <sighs> got a rough patch here but we'll get out of it we'll get out of it